Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Alan Ananda Raja. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Medicine, and I'm also the clinical director for the Division of Allergy, Immunology, and Rheumatology. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory arthritis that affects about 1% of the general population. It seems to be much more common in women. It's a disease that mainly affects the joints, um, but can also affect other organs such as the eye, lungs, heart, even the nerves and the skin. Arthritis in general is the number one cause of uh, disability in this country and is a cause of great uh, expense to the country too. And uh, people don't realize that rheumatoid arthritis probably is only second to diabetes as a cause of death. So there are several trials that have shown that uh, heart disease may be rampant and may be the most important disease. But if you go look behind the scenes, you find out that it's rheumatoid arthritis or the other forms of arthritis that may have precipitated or even worsened the heart disease in the first place. We have learned to better manage the disease over the last uh, 10 to 15 years. And one of the best ways to treat this disease is to diagnose it and treat it ex as early as possible. And fortunately, over the last 15 years, we have uh, developed tools uh, to make that early diagnosis possible. We have several blood tests. We also have imaging tools such as ultrasound and MRI that help make the early diagnosis. And um, since the mid to late 1990s, there have been several papers that have shown that early treatment provides the best chance of controlling the disease and uh, possibly even curing the disease, although the latter is con controversial. In the past, we tried to control symptoms uh, and in fact, uh, even as recently as 10 years ago, we looked as at a 20% improvement in clinical science as a great advancement. However, now we kind of are able to use these new drugs where the target is remission, so trying to prevent uh, any evidence for disease activity. Rheumatoid arthritis 20 years ago, I mean, I can tell you probably this is the best example. Uh, when I was training at that time, uh, three of my clinics were with the orthopedic surgeons. We did a, a clinic with the hand surgeons, with the foot surgeons, uh, meaning that we, once we diagnosed a patient with rheumatoid arthritis, it was unfortunately in a lot of them a matter of time before they had some kind of joint replacement. Um, as opposed to now, where a lot of our residents don't even see the so-called typical deformities that you, uh, that the textbooks show that happens with rheumatoid arthritis. So the good thing is that we have so many medications and just having come back from our national meeting, there are at least you know, 10 more drugs that are going to come in the next five to 10 years. It is definitely exciting. I mean, we now have the biologics which are all uh, given as injections and the new generation of medications are going to be the oral molecules. Uh, so we now have a, a good problem to have, which is which drug do we use? It's not do we have a drug to use? So.